Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a new week. Haven't made a video in a while. And forgive the noise, I'm doing laundry. And while I would like to go stop the dryer, I just can't quit doing my laundry. So anyway, because I slept all day, this has no choice but to be a fairly quick, short video about a subject matter that I'm not really sure how to put into words. And what I'd like to talk about for a change, well, really none of the subjects that I choose are wonderful. You know, and my parents and my Facebook friends would totally freak out if they saw any one of the videos on my channel. They would be totally appalled, hence the sunglasses, which I bought this pair thinking that as fall came around, I would love to have an orange pair with black shades for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad that we're deep within September now and fall is coming up soon. Um, and it's been about 120 years since the hurricane that wiped out Galveston, but it was before they started naming them. And believe it or not, it's gonna be 12 years since Hurricane Ike. Wow. So yeah, time is flying. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is something pertaining to that, the passage of time, and how, you know, one of the things I really hate about these F to M trans people, well, M to F as well, but I don't really watch their channels for obvious reasons. Um, what really makes me not respect them a lot of times is the fact that they have such drastic transformations, which I think I want to make that the title of this video. Drastic transformations. Okay? And what I mean by that is that, you know, they, they, they come from a point in their life at which they were so different. Like, you know, and, and they're so proud of this. You know, and, and it's like they ought to be ashamed of it, but instead they're proud of the fact that they are drastically different from the way they were at an age well into adulthood, you know, and, and it just angers me so much, you know. Um, I would like to get out some of my childhood photos or high school photos, um, and I may at some point, but really that would kind of violate the whole principle of, of trying to be as anonymous as possible. Um, but I don't really think I have drastically transformed at any point in my life. As far as like, um, I look pretty much the way I have since I was about 10. Okay? And what I mean by that is I've never had hair longer than this you know, since 93, and I've talked about that in another video, which no one wants to watch. Um, so I've always had short hair, but I've never really identified as a male. Um, and, you know, like I said, my parents wouldn't support me, so it wouldn't even matter, you know, e even if that were the one and only thing that would make me happy, it just would not matter. Because the way my parents feel, it's like, that is just not something that they're going to support me through. So if I were to go that route, I would be pretty much like the guy in Austin that I talked about in my last video. Living on the street, sleeping on a backpack, and begging someone for their scraps of food. Not caring if they have COVID. So, um, basically that's just not going to go over with my parents. So even if I truly, you know, really and truly felt like I was a male, which obviously I don't if I'm wearing something like this. Even if I really and truly felt that I truly was a male and should have always been one, they would not support me, okay? So with those kind of stats, you know, it really doesn't matter. You know, and I've just basically resolved not to care, you know, because I, I believe that the world just doesn't evolve around me and the way I feel about my body, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like to even worry about it is vanity of vanities, you know what I'm saying? Because it is not gonna matter. 
you know, when, when you're six feet under, you know, whether you lived as a male or a female or, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to matter what my body looked like cosmetically because, you know, it, it's just not important to me. Um, and that's why I can't stand these bodybuilder types. I hate them, you know, with every fiber of my being. I cannot stand anyone who, who, who really puts that much into their physical body. Um, so, yeah. But what really makes me disrespect people like that, you know, and it's, it's like, I don't know how to say it, but it's like they, they ought to be ashamed of the fact that they were just so drastically different at some point in their well-remembered life. But yet now they look like a complete different human being. 